Hello. If you're not part of my game, you are not gonna get this, but that's fine. Maybe I'll tell all what happens in the game I'm play making. So, this is the first place Moretin there grow. I wanted to zoom in to give the town names. So, they so my uh, game players can know because uh, you can't zoom in in row 20 of the names. So this is the place we're starting in. Uh, in this little place we're starting like right about there. So a few feet away from Sigmore. Ah. Uh, uh, and then there's road to dim more shing and artsman I cannot pronounce some of these then again give it a sec Sagoma Sagoma I could not hear it under my headset because I do not have my set headset set up to hear through my headset. <laughs> but I'll see it says the names very well. Sigma. But we're heading there. There. There's a little force over here. But it's gonna look like it's over here well, on the uh, thing I have, but whatever. Uh, we are the Shin Johnson. I don't care if you can't. Uh, I'll have them written down as well later. Or, er, probably. I'll have to write them down as well. Uh, but this will help explain town layout for me for now. So, even if you don't if even if you don't catch all the names, it's fine. Just need a layout of how big and how far the towns are for you guys, so you guys know. And if you have some questions that happen in my game, in even though you're not playing, in you can ask. I'm just making this mostly so I have the layout for my players. Earth perfect. I hate the little flags. I hate them with a dying passion. And over here is the Protestant Empire. Again, I will I will zoom in more to actually get names in there. Again, I hate these little I hate these little flags sometimes because I cannot read sometimes the names and I will just get rid of them. Slowly but surely I will end up getting rid of all these flags probably eventually. Because they're just bothering me at this point. Slowly but surely, every flag on this map will, since I check it so often, and will just appear. And then there's down here, our big one. I hate these big ones because I never can tell if there's a city hiding under it. Uh, this is the unnamed town. 
Um, it doesn't have a name yet. It, it doesn't have a road yet either. There's no road system to it. It's being built and it's unnamed. Uh, right now, uh, it's pretty much a small town with a castle. That's pretty much what it has right now. We'll see how that goes, uh, if I ever think of a name for it. <laughs> if it'll ever actually get named. I can change the name of it, if I ever remember. Uh, maybe or maybe not. Remember, I'll probably remember build the town and forget naming it. That's what's gonna probably gonna be happening. Cause Except for the road. I will never remember the road. Oh. And then we'll go right up here. Again, these big giant flags are just bugging me. Especially the black ones. I do not like the ones that are black. When they're uh, right on a city. Because I cannot read the name of the city with it over it at all. So I never like the black ones. The black ones are mean and cruel. At least with me getting rid of these flags slowly but surely. If you have more towns you're able to read. I hate you as well. You're in our big flag. I don't like big flags. Why do you have to have all these flags? I don't need them. You show me the f you show me the flag on when I click on the count. I don't need a giant flag. And flags aren't going to matter too much anyway. I'm not that big on my. I'm not that big on my lore yet. Jeez, a newbie at real DMing. I can worry about flags if I want. Later, I'm not gonna worry about flags. I feel like flags are the least of my worries in being a DM right now. I think. <laughs> oh God damn it! Also, why I hate the flags. I sometimes click the town and not the flag. Click the flag. Thank you. Not the big one. Uh, I cannot read that word over here. So you can't read that word over there. If I can't read, you can't read it. Obviously. My logic. Goodness. can't read you over here. Making sure I get all the places. Obviously you can pause it to actually read towns better if you need to. And also doing this for myself because I hate having to since this the is a old update it keeps telling me 
stuff. So sooner or later, I will need a new map layer. So the, the I don't have to load this one up anymore. So, uh, I'll be using the same world, but I guess the world's going to change a bit over a few centuries. I guess I'll have to make a new era or something, because I want to stick with the same world. <laughs> oh, just... I mean, Earth moves around all the time, land sinks and grows. <laughs> See no problem with this. Will all the towns be the name the same? I might name some of the towns and countries the same. But a lot of them will also change, probably, because I won't remember every single one. But keeping so, so a lot of places will probably just change names. It'll be a very interesting history book of history of towns that used to cyst in history that no longer cyst. <laughs> and probably won't even have all the history. Is those green areas? No, those green areas a different place. Okay. And then there's the other green zone, Lem Lemeno, which I'm assuming this one and this one is part of Lem I don't know. Though they're, it's the same green that's almost, no it's definitely this green, so it's definitely this part of this Lemon area. This is the human, mostly a lot of human, and uh, magicators. Uh, Luma will definitely have the town that I made a magic stick with it. If no one, uh, if uh, no one comes to it, it's definitely a town that, uh, capital that will be sticking around wherever it went. There it is. Um, this little boat area. This town over here. This one. Acroton. Acroton. Arcaton. I have to lift up my headset to hear it. For Agrita, we'll have is the city with the uh, magical shield that keeps uh, magic from working. I need to decide how big that thing is. Maybe like, I'll figure that one out. probably big enough to just fit the city and and only that city so if you're outside this city magic does work it's just this whole place hates magic so uh if you have experienced magic either a move to this city or be prepared to die because they are super against magic, so if you come visit here, do not use magic. Which is why I'm saying that if uh, they never come here, er, I will... Mm, might never... For, uh, will definitely keep that town. I wouldn't be surprised if no one did come here. I wouldn't blame them. No. This is a uh, town of magic. I did look up here. I can't read that one though. So you go in. And 
then there's this little small island. And which maybe I'll make it two sides of live area. I'm thinking about it. The side that hates the side that really hates magic and the side that has magic but doesn't mind too much. That'd be hilarious. Oh, I should do that. Since they're not together. Even though they're part of the lived area. Maybe they just don't tell the other live areas. And over there. Since apparently to even there's I do not know why it did not put a uh boat a, a little capital a place here to put a boat over there. It would have just been faster to put a little boat here to go even faster around here. They have to go really far around to just go there. They might not just might not tell my area. Can you go away please? And then the pink little stone own piece of Kicks. X. Uh, haven't. Okay. To I will admit, I've only figured out a lot information about the town of uh, Magicators. Okay. I have. I. Uh, um. Pretty much letting the uh, world, the other th website I use to the towns generator to tell me you know, what species lives in other places. I'm sorry. Because I'm horrible. Come on, it's my first time running a DM, as a DM. Give me some Leroy. Also, I only have like two players, and then there's Republic of Foundation. Yep, I have to zoom out just to read the uh, capitals. I hate you black ones. I love that slowly but surely I am literally getting rid of all the flags. Just slowly but surely every flag would disappear. Because they just don't like they're on the map at all. But I'm getting the important ones first. At least the ones I can't read with eat very well, mostly. And the big annoying ones. Like, why is there a flag here? There's nothing under it. There's a little, little ocean. There's a little land here. I love that this is part of this blue line, but no one lives, like, literally. Well, no one. Well, not no one lives there. Or if I check the population, there are people there if I, by that standards. My own moans means I don't know. Why is that on that line? And there's oh look a lake. There's actual lake on my map. I'm surprised. Wait, is there? There's literally a 
capital here, he a boat line that goes here to there. That, that is funny. Apparently they didn't like the idea of going around. Like, at all. They didn't want to go to one city to go there. There, there needs to be a funny reason for that. Maybe they both had a bad spirit there. Or something. I should make them. Because that is hilarious. And then there's... A little boy's dear bra. Again, I cannot read that word under there. Thank you. What's under there? That almost says thieves, I think. I never said I was a rest reader. Triviers. What? Triviers. Triviers. I did not mean to click on the city. I was trying to click on the... Not on the city. Oh my god. You've made... Oh no. Superiors. Okay, now you can move back. I could not read the word and it was bugging me. Put that there. Get rid of you. And then... There's this pink land. Per. Per. Instead of Kumbuya. Who knew? There's a town down here. Why is there a town called Villagers? I have no idea. I'm not going to ask the random generator of questions. Hey, why? Why are these big, big round flags? In the middle of nowhere places. Why? Why? And there's a little bit. There's a little thing all the way over here. Why they made their town over here, I have no idea. Of that, this island's empty. I think I saw more pink land over here. I did. my god this capital over here literally has a whole island to herself that's shaped like a shark that's kind of cool jarwa 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 that that actually fits very well jarwa you're amazing i i do not care what this place says I am now claiming this whole island and is one big city. It's a tourist attraction. What happened to the plants and trees? There are some there. It's just uh 
there's probably a wild, a small area. I don't know. There might not be a very much wildlife at all, actually. Change my mind, there is no wildlife. It's a whole damn city now. The whole place. Why? Because I find it funny that you're all by yourself over here. So now, and it's shaped like a shark. So you're a tourist reaction in the... Which I do not ha know how that works. When you're right now in the time span. You're in the time period when there are no cars. Hmm. Don't know how you are a tourist reaction. There's no cars, no planes, no technology. How are you a tourist attraction? I have no idea. Probably through magic. Advertisements probably through magic, to tell the truth. Now that I think about it. But still, that is hilarious that you're all by yourself over there. And then we have the Brighton in Empire. I love that it was a shaped like a little shark. I didn't even notice that at first. I never, I guess I never noticed it because I never zoomed in. That it has a little water where the eye is and a little wavy line where the shark mouth is. It's kind of amazing. Why is there a la random flag in the ocean? Why is there a flag in the water? Fall places to be a flag. Why in the water? I cannot read what is under you. Or under you. You are blocking through letters. I swear, purple is another color. It does not work very well. Like, it's a pretty flag. Egg, but still, the color purple doesn't seem to work well with black words. Maybe that's what it means by old update. Is there no... Wait, what? There's no boat line. There's no boat line to this t town over here. What the f What the fuck? Why is there no boat line for you? Did they kick you? <laughs> You're part of the country here, but did they kick you out? Is this a- is this a prison? I'm gonna assume this is the island of prisoners now. Yeah, there's a wall. Oh. It has a shady biz town. No, well, yeah. It better be a shady town. Because I feel like this is a town of prisoners. There's no reason for it not to have a boat line unless if the only boats that ever show up there are people to be sentenced to a life where they are sentenced, they're guilty, and they're awesomely guilty. Because otherwise, that no boat there makes no sense. That is hilarious. I have a town with no boat line. That is now a uh, town that has is known for prisoners. I I do not know how prison. It's a town for prisoners. Apparently, you you get you get sentenced to a, a life of crime sentence for life. You get sent to this town. You're guilty for life. You get sent to this town. 
How do you get out? I guess you'd swim. Because there's probably no boats and guards guarding outside of the town keeping you in. But otherwise, you get to do whatever the fuck in there and they don't give a shit. <laughs> You're in this town, you can do all the crime you want. They just guard outside to make sure you don't escape. That is canon now. That is canon in my world now. Because it is my world, and I see no other reason why that place would not have a uh, boat section. So for now, forever now known as the world of crime. I love it. I've just offended a prison that does not give a fuck about their people as long as they stay in. The town, they give no cares. You've murdered one of the people inside the town. They really do not care. It's like, oh, that person's dead. Oh, well. Not a great town to live in, <laughs> for sure. If, uh, they don't care. But, I uh, mean. Really? <laughs> what? Th there's no reason for the town to not. There's another one. Why are there two towns with no boat way to get there? That, that, why? And this one just has a wall. <laughs> just a wall. Okay. Well, I'm gonna add shady people because it is shady as fuck that you have no boat system f um, set up for your uh, little town over there because I'm sorry. But if you have no boat system, um, I'm uh, worried <laughs> of why in my world. I love that. And it's from the same co Man, dude, did you have too many prisoners? That's what fucking happened. They had too many bad guys and, uh, and they needed another town to put prisoners because they, they needed one for female and one for male. That's what happened. <laughs> they they didn't care too much, but they cared enough to go, we'll put the males on one side and the females on the other side. They didn't want them to produce any children. That's, that's what happened. It's like, they're criminals. We don't want them to have kids. <laughs> Uh, the, man, I, I'm worried about the town of uh, Brandon and Empire now, since they have like two towns that are right off the coast uh, that have no boat system. What? What is wrong with this town? <laughs> what is wrong with this country? I... <laughs> uh, this this country needs to be have problems because they're trying to fix their problems apparently by th throwing it, criminals on random islands apparently but still this country apparently has a lot of problems I love that just showing this to other people and talking uh, even if only my people that play the games actually watches is now hilarious for oh for your have your small little place it's the story the little towns you have you're so small you fit all the your towns in one in your country capital. You only have one capital. I think. 
I don't, I think there could be more than one capital in this spot, but still. I think, uh, I pay attention too much. It's also very small. I'm coming up with lore for ra my random little world. Why are you so big? I don't understand. You don't need to be so big. And you don't need random flag in the middle of nowhere. We have Massis, which is the blue one, and not the green one. It just happens the island shaped weirdly. Again, those little names of the town pretty much fit perfectly. Of little screen, which is great. And then Capricorn, which you have that big giant one shield, which is annoying. Can of like I do some of the shield signs are great, but still they bother me so much. Um. There's the blue one, which is the. <laughs> I have no idea how to pronounce that. That's fine. I swear, they're the flags are starting a war on me. How could they? here with the flat with the guitars and the try to hide words okay you you move you go under the town this time because uh otherwise you're right like right above that word and I can't read you if you're a on another word so you're just gonna be under the town to explain it okay I haven't actually looked at all my towns yet I've So, and the last little town is last place of the world is Prince of Hajland. Yeah. Which is 
a nice little area. Almost. No, I want the flag. I know. I want the flag. Thank you. It's the last stop in our little world. Our nice little world. That will change eventually. Once my game's over, I will have a different map. I think, uh, if I end up getting to more what my world will look like next, but, uh, how much it will change, uh, I'll probably make a new era of my world. Uh, after, I'll say, a few weeks. How long does the world take to change, usually? A land mass. It's a fantasy world, I guess it doesn't matter too much uh, how long that takes. But a lot of people would... <laughs> Normally a lot of people would die if land mass changed too quickly. But I'm getting tired of... Uh, I don't want a new map. Cause, cause I like this m world right now. It, for now, it's just, I just have to change it because of, they updated this website and I get a message box every time I uh, load this uh, map now telling me blah 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 new things it won't be a day yes I know yes I know you added new things and my uh, map is old now stop telling me yeah. so it's pretty much oh, I'm just uh, getting tired of that message box to tell the truth so whenever I finish my game, uh, i definitely, the world's only changing and having name, same names, names of towns, with some names, a lot of names will change. I probably won't, I will definitely not be renaming all the towns to the same things. A lot of, some of them will be coming over, but a lot of towns will, uh, change their names. But, uh, whichever, wherever, uh, the history goes with, uh, my party members, those towns that might or might not exist, so it'll be hilarious that there's a history of this town that my party has saved, uh, helped this certain town. Um, that now does not exist. Well... We'll find out who what happens. Oh, uh, but yeah, I will see y'all later.